now, the wandering poem. It was the second Tuesday of June, and it came to me like flowers and merriments carried by murmurs upon Philadelphia's city streets. And what you left upon your exit was nothing short of boulevards filled with broken dreams, American idiots, and a toilet paper roll left with nothing on its hinges. It was but a demonstration of your greed and your gluttony in sassafras colored sky. In your heartache you wondered to yourself aloud not of what you were, but now what you are. Like a man who sits in a diner and drinks his coffee with a wet cigarette upon his hand, and waitresses who write poems and screenplays upon napkins, stories which you will never know. And upon those screenplays are written the chords of jazz and love, and sappy love romances that nobody will ever hear. And the man with his wet cigarette is but a listener to these tales that are forever unknown. <clears throat> he is but a wanderer on his journey somewhere within his life, and in this exact moment, his life collided with a diner where his cigarette would get wet on his coffee, his black coffee at three o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday. Simon and Garfunkel had sung about Wednesday morning at 3 a.m., but nothing could compare him to what it felt like the day prior. Nothing in his right mind could compare to the overwhelming sense of loneliness that emanated from such a time. And may it be rested upon April 8th, that 1,000 missing children fly themselves to heaven upon the wings.